In this video, let's try out Gemini Diffusion from Google DeepMind. This is a state of art experimental text diffusion model. So there was this waitlist. I joined the waitlist and I got access to it. So let's go and try it out. Okay. Uh, so this is how the user interface looks like, right? And here is a prompt for a tic-tac-toe game, right? With the four by four grid. So let's just run it. Okay. Let's see how fast it actually generates this particular game over here. If you look at it, it has generated 767 tokens per second. Previously, I've seen this kind of a speed with Croc hardware, right? But over here, you can see that it has generated close to 2K tokens in 2.94 seconds. And you can actually play this game. So this is a planet tic-tac-toe game. So if you see over here, it's actually able to play this game over here, right? It is able to uh, generate this code at, you know, such a fast speed, right? So this was one of the prompt examples which they had given over here. So I also had to try out with some other prompts to see how it works. Just remember that this is a research model and it's not really state of art when comparing to your current day auto regressive models. Okay. So you cannot compare this with say a Gemini 2.5 flash or, you know, any of the current models. Right. So let's try another, um, you know, solving a mathematical equation over here. You know, uh, this is x raised to the power of 4 minus 2x cubed minus 3x square is equal to 0. Let's just run this mathematical problem and see how it works. See, 479 tokens, it has generated 1.18 seconds. Uh, you know, 406 tokens per second. And it has actually given the correct answer over here. So it tries to solve this equation, factor out the common term. Right, you can take x square outside, then you get this, you know, x square into uh, within the um, brackets, you get x square minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. It is able to, you know, then solve it and get the final answer over here, like this. I'm kind of amazed at the speed at which this works, but doesn't mean that it always works. For example, I wanted to create a road rash game. Okay, I said create me a simple road rash game which can run in Chrome and it gave this code and I when I preview it, it doesn't work properly. When I, you know, downloaded this code and put it into a HTML file, there were some issues with respect to libraries and other things over here. But again, if you see the speed over here, 850 tokens per second, right? Uh, then I tried this solar system visualization. So I said create me a simple animation of solar system with no planets revolving around the sun. Initially, it did not give the planets. I said, I don't see any of the planets. And then it again generated this and it created this kind of a visualization, which is not perfect. But again, the speed is like 635 tokens per second. I tried this bouncing ball prompt where, you know, I wanted to, uh, you know, create this, right? A three dimensional model of 50 realistic looking balls bouncing inside a spinning cube. Here also it was not able to generate the correct code. There were some errors over here. So this is not really state of art when you compare it with the current uh, autoregressive models. It is still a research release. It's an experimental text diffusion model. But with the pace at which Google DeepMind is shipping, I expect that we will get a much more improved diffusion models in a couple of months. Right. So what are the capabilities of Gemini diffusion? What they're saying is rapid response, which you saw more coherent text generates entire blocks of tokens at once. So it can respond more co coherently to a user's prompt than autoregressive models. And it can do, it can correct errors during generation for more consistent outputs. Okay. Uh, they have compared it with benchmarks and other things. Just as a reminder, I have a video on what are these large language diffusion models and how they work. Okay. In this particular, uh, you know, Mercury, uh, in this particular block where they have introduced Inception Labs has introduced Mercury, they have this nice visualization over here of, you know, how does a diffusion, 
model work over here if you see auto regressive model does token by token whereas if you see over here your diffusion tries to generate the entire you know text in a single in 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 what do you call in a set of steps okay in a set of iterations over here and it um, you know a diffusion model it generates both from left to right right uh, from both sides it generates text over here whereas this is token by token so you have left to right uh, one token at a time or you know whereas over here you see this it kind of generates it in very less number of iterations it starts with the whole kind of text and then tries to edit the text okay so that's the difference between diffusion versus auto regressive models in detail i have explained it in this large language diffusion models explained video you can check it out so the hope is that more and more companies are going to come up with better text diffusion models so the clear advantages over here are the generation speed right how fast it can come up with a response and the other things are that because it generates as a whole block of tokens it can be coherent and it can correct itself during the generation process for more consistent outputs so this was a short video on gemini diffusion if you want to try out this particular model you can also join the waitlist over here and once you get access right you can go and try it out definitely not the state of the art that's what i found over here in it doesn't work in many cases where i've tried it works in some cases really well right it has its drawbacks but it's an experimental model and it is expected to improve Hope this video is useful. See you in another video.